Wow. Wow, look at this, guys. Don't worry about me. I lived a good life until blah, blah, blah. Ha, <laughs> Yeah. All right, anyway. Hope that's Super. not Anna. We'll stop there on the way back. Wow. Super Anna. Hola. Ah, gracias. Pero le falta. Oh, falta? Five more? Para usted. Oh, para usted, okay. Oh, Two. Is that okay? Costa Rica. What a mess this place has been. So far since I've been here, I went to Jaco, I went to Santa Teresa, and I went to San Jose. I asked questions on Reddit. I said, should I go to San Jose? People said, stay away from there. But at that point, my trip was going so poorly. My last week, I just wanted it to be close to the airport. I could go into the details why in other videos. Well, after changing three Airbnbs, I finally found an area that's awesome. Welcome to San Jose, Santa Ana District, Costa, the, Costa Rica. Yeah, that's right. And this Airbnb is not expensive but they paid attention to every single detail. I can't tell you, I've stayed at some pretty shady places. I found a uh, condom thing on the ground at the last place. Yeah, so anyway, this place is cool. It's got a little garden, and we're gonna go walk to the downtown area and get some food, but first I just wanna show you guys the Airbnb. Normally I don't do this, but this is so cool. Check it out, it's a little efficiency apartment, right? Everything's got like a draw, everything is clean. Oh, look at what channel is that? Um, you got a little refrigerator, you got nice granite countertops. Look at this bed, all handmade. The husband of the lady I met is an architect. Look at this light thing, right? Fan, look at all this guys, built in shelves. And look at, this is how you know you're at a good Airbnb. Here's the name of it. Look at this, welcome Anthony. That's little details, right? Little details. Check this out guys, there's like a, a loft thing up here. Wow. For a little little gray sized person. Um but yeah. Alright. And last thing, look at this bathroom. This is one of the least expensive Airbnbs and it's one of the nicest. They paid attention to every detail. I love it. Look at everything's so clean and nice. So now this is not an Airbnb review. This is San Jose. So let's do it. Head downstairs. Make sure we got the phone. Yep. Love the place. Check this out, this place is so cool. It's a little pool area. Hammocks. Very nice. This is just unbelievable, unbelievable Airbnb. I can't get over this place. Join us. All right, let's find this downtown area. So, there's bamboo over there. There is so much I gotta say about Costa Rica to you guys. Let's see, how do we get out of here? Here we go. This place is incredible. 
So this is a cool place. This is the first place I've been in Costa Rica that feels like an actual town slash province place to live. Let me explain. When I travel, I don't know if you've heard me say it before, but I like to get immersed in the culture. I like to go basically live somewhere. I like to see how people live, what they do differently. Even like we're live, you know, in a suburban area like this, where you know people are just living their daily lives. There's no vacation resort here. This is what I was looking for. I've been in Costa Rica for three weeks, and I have not found anything like this. I haven't found the culture. What do I mean? I mean that I got here, the car rental company ripped me off. Everything has gringo price. And they charged me $3,000 deposit when I have good credit, no accidents on my tickets. I just, nonstop, a cop pulled me over and said I did something and I can't drive or something. And he extorted me, I had to pay him $230. Oh, let me just get my directions here, this way. So. Besides those things, I still wanted to find a local town vibe, and uh, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. And what do I mean by that? I mean that every place I've been has been resort towns. You're getting ripped off when the average salary here is 500 to 1,000 US dollars, and coconuts are five dollars here, US. That's not right. So I knew I was missing part of the beat of this town right of this whole country at rather so i went to hako hako beach it's con artists drug addicts it's uh prostitutes which is fine whatever but what i don't understand is why everything is so expensive why there's no there's no town like this is a town this is people live here people work here everywhere i've been i tried to find little province town areas and i couldn't find it it just was like I saw somebody on uh, Reddit say this, a street with businesses on it. There's no actual town, right? So I don't know. I've been here for a while and it's been a sour experience. So I tried posting the directions. I tried posting, I tried posting online. I tried posting. What about San Jose? Because at this point, after two weeks of just constant garbage, let me just say this first actually so not this area but why do people come to costa rica why do people rave about costa rica well i'll tell you why it's because of the nature of the beauty philippines is better but for central america costa rica has some of the best it has actual jungles and it has a lot of uh of good stuff like that when else very interesting building no the over here is the thing so I noticed that uh, it just seemed to be like, oh, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, so that's why people come here, the nature, the jungles, all that kind of stuff, which is fine, but you could get that for way cheaper other places. And the thing is, is that because this place is the uh, intermediary place where people seem to go, the thing is, is that it's like a honeypot trap. So you come here for the nature and they go oh, gringo this, gringo that, and they'll fuck you over for money. What else? And uh, it's just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's like the entire country is like a Disney resort that's scamming you and no culture and no towns. So the one place where I knew I could get, and I'm sorry to pass you Costa Rica, this is nothing against you guys. I, I think it's just the influx of expats that came here. You got tons of people that retired here. It's in the U.S. You get U.S. prices, and I don't want that. You know, I want to go on a trip. I want to just relax, enjoy a new culture. I want to learn things. Just like uh, Picos that come to the U.S., they want to probably learn about U.S. culture. I wanted to experience a new culture, and I couldn't get that here. It's like everything was simulated and emulated to be like the West. So, I just can't. I'm doing a bad job describing it. But anyway, so... That's why people come here, the nature. And people, this is a lot of times the first third world country that people go to because it feels safe or whatever. Well, I got news for you. So far, a few things have happened. Not the safest place. Bicycle converted into a motorbike. That's crazy. So if you really want to experience a lot of nature, I DM me. I'll give you some really good places. 
I'm not saying write Costa Rica off, but I'll tell you, I will never come back here. But maybe not, because now that I'm in the Santa Ana district of San Jose, I've been here, I literally just got here an hour ago. I was like, finally, this is what I'm looking for. And I brought the camera out. I haven't really even been making videos because just nothing to film here. But uh, so, it always feels weird. I haven't done the camera for a couple of weeks. Breaking out the camera always feels weird. So it's kind of been the, the way it's been going. It's been kind of a mixed bag. And the times that I was happy here, it was because of the nature, enjoying the nature. Birds, I'm a little bit tired too. It's probably not the best day to be making a video. And you might be saying, Anthony, why don't you have some kratom? Well, I don't think I have any left. So, as I say, just so out of it today. So anyway, so this town's cool. And so I had been so done with the experiences I've had uh, Santa Teresa, beautiful environment, but mucho dinero, very expensive. And all it is is rich white people. And I'm Italian, so I'm like halfway, I guess you could say. Mango. And uh, it's just not just, he's not even rich, there's some black people too. There's just people there that are very wealthy, very spoiled, and that are party. And I like wealthy people. I have some friends that are wealthy. I think they're smart. I like to hang out with them. But when you're visiting a place and you want to experience culture and people enjoying themselves and you want to get to know the little bit of the dicey areas you don't want to be in a beach town that costs more than the hamptons so anyway so this is uh, that town so one of the things i was saying you got these hills in the distance no, it's no chase. but another problem is our pnds here are a fucking nightmare I, I waste so much money and I started off with the cheap ones and then I thought if I paid more I'd get a nicer one. Broken beds, dirty rooms, gross. I stayed in $25 a night Airbnbs that are better than the ones here that are 100. It is so hard to find a decent place here. They're all just falling apart, dirty, next to major highways. I'm not trying to sound like a spoiled bitch, but if you're going to pay for an Airbnb, I keep my environment to be okay while I'm uh, working want a decent level of whatever so what happened was my final desperate attempt i was like listen i just got to get out of here isolation of santa Teresa. santa Teresa. i'm gonna put a video up on that it's, it's not bad if you're a surfer it's a nice nice plant if you're a uh, surfer and you want to surf then that's not a bad idea it's just that it's just that it's i don't know you just got to see it for yourself, but I wouldn't recommend going there. So my final desperate attempt was, hey, there's a little store over there. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is finally a real neighborhood. My final desperate attempt was to just go by the airport. Even though I put it on Reddit, I was like, hey, San Jose, that's the main town here where you land when you're flying here. I was like, uh, oh, I should buy some water. I think I need some antioxidants. Or electrolytes. It's like a sorry, sorry store. Interesting items here. Food store, episode 40. Wow. Oh, it smells kind of weird back here. Let me see if Grace is up. That would be a funny. Hola. Good morning. Finally found a good place. Finally found this town is the better town. It's better than all those other places. It's like a sorry, sorry store. Just tap. I have cash too. No, well, they're sugar-free electrolyte drinks because I uh, I feel like I just lost. Oh, you just tap, tap. Pasa. Pasa. Gracias. Thank you. Yes. Pasa. 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 Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. This town is like finally. But it's richer than me. Yeah. Eat some of these energy herbs. Way in Rome. Nice little store. Uh -oh. Hola. Uh, Coco? You have Coco? Cocos. Cocos, yeah. Here? Here? Cocos? Okay. 
reason as you might have seen we couldn't film in there didn't miss anything the store maxi pally is actually walmart it's a spanish walmart or costa rican walmart so that's kind of black and they didn't have the grapes i wanted but i got some grapes anyway so on this quest to try to find a cell phone store we really need to get this phone fixed. And I do not want to drive into the city. It has to be done. It says it's up here on the left. Super Anna. Wow, that store looks radical. I wonder if I could film in there. Arna. That store looks awesome. Lot to explore here. I can't believe it though. People are way nicer here. I don't know why. Super Anna. We'll stop there on the way back. Super Anna. Hola. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a big line for something. Super Anna. All right. So. Right, right there, a little tire repair. This bag is very handy because also it's like if somebody started messing with it to steal something, you would feel it. Whoa, what's this? Tabarato. 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 Wow. I wonder if that's like a thing here. Like you can now that's filmed in the stores for some reason. Oh, yeah, let's see. Where's the cell phone? Place? Uh, yeah, look free. Uh, no. I don't know if she said something like no video. No po video. Polos pigo. That place looks legit. But I can't tell if I'm walking in a circle. Wow, oh, people are so... Oh, sorry. So nice here. Uh, cell phone store. Over here. Man, I've been to so many crazy towns. I barely keep track. Wow, oh, this town is, has a whole other area. It says cell phone repair right here. Macrobiotica. Is that a health store? Cell phone. Cell phone repair. Macrobiotica. Cell phone repair. Where is cell phone repair? <laughs> it's like I can't really tell where it is. Maybe over here? Las Fantas. Like this. 
cell phone repair. Santa Ana Cellular. Nail salon. Smells like doctor's office. Where am I? Did not see any cell phone repair. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, Coco? Uh, 500. 500. Or dos? Dos. Dos. Yeah, dos. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, oh, photo, yeah, YouTube, yeah. <laughs> uh, two, those, gracias. Very nice. Things are like uh, one dollar, two dollar, three dollar, one, two, three, four. Five. I think that's four dollars. That should be enough. Ah. Gotcha. Uh, one, two, two, three, one thousand, two thousand. Is uh, this good? Mealy. Meal? Mealy? Uh, let's do it right here. Mm. Just okay, gracias. Ah, gracias. Pero le falta. Oh. Bata? Five more? Para usted. Oh, para usted? Okay. Oh, Two. Is that okay? <laughs> you, you keep. It's fine. Okay. okay. Gracias. Gracias. Mm. Look, that chicken almost got his head cut off, it looks like. What are you doing, chicken? Mmm. See, that could have turned into probably, oh, that's great, a great adventure, right? If I spoke Spanish. I probably could have been like, yeah, hey, let me have dinner with you guys. Mmm. <laughs> Like a good road. All right, now we got our cocoa. My nose is running. What else can we get? Look at that baby carrot. I would totally live in that house. Totes. Should I start saying totes? Wow, I have that plant in my house. Wow. I gotta send this to my friend Evan. He loves plants. Oh no. My coconut spilling.
can't really tell by the picture, but this is one of those small plants. I can't believe it. It's bigger than the house. Great. Now I got... Got spilled cocoa on my shirt. Oh, sorry, guys. Not you care. It's probably funny to you. These straws are the worst. They like melt in your mouth. I look at a waterfall. That's the best thing about cocoa. They're biodegradable. I realize I'm the one confused. I don't want to get their music taken down. All right, buddy, take it down. There's a little birdhouse meter. Well, you can go down there. Oh, there's houses down there. Hmm. Mm. 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 You know, I'm really trying to learn Spanish. I've been using that Duolingo app constantly, well not constantly, but a lot. Wow, oh, you hear that water down there? Wow. I'm really trying. The only thing cool about this straw, it looks like bamboo. They should use real bamboo, that would be awesome. I hate notifications. Wow, you could probably slide down that, guys. Look at that. Are those banana trees? Wow. What, should I walk across this pipe? What, a lizard? Oh, should we do it? Should we go off trail? I wasn't really planning on this, but... Wow, look at a crazy bus. They wave. Is this, I thought this was a pipe. This is a tree, I think. Or is it a pipe? I can't tell. You know, I saw some girl with um, a little skinny girl. One leg was like the size of a horse. Wow. And the other leg was skinny and she was walking out of the woods. Oh, that's a pipe. That's got to be a pipe. Yeah, it's a pipe. Oh, I don't Wow. Pretty cool, but I was not really thinking that I was going to do mud hiking. Wow. Very picturesque. There's like pancakes growing on that. I guess I could hop across, but I just, I had such a long walk back. 
really not in the mood to whoa that's a good sign to turn around the horse skeleton wow wow look at this guys don't worry about me I lived a good life until blah 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 ha <laughs> yeah all right anyway hope that's what's up and welcome to San Jose Costa Rica and you might be asking yourself where is all the bullshit where's the cars where's the loudness why is it so beautiful that's because there are many parts to San Jose and I've discovered this after being in Costa Rica for nearly a month and now I went from not liking Costa Rica to having a special place in my heart for it. I've never had so much difficulty trying to find the beauty and the nice people in a country and shocker guess what it's up in the mountains and it's in a city that I was told don't go to San Jose this is San Jose and this barrio is Santa Ana and there are people actually living up here and we're gonna go walk down from here like we always do we're gonna start from the top and walk to the bottom the bottom is the city but we're not gonna go to a city that I don't like which is the central area of San Jose we're gonna go to Santa Ana district in San Jose which I don't know if it's district barrio province I don't know what they call it but um, very excited to show you guys that and the air is cleaner here and we are at such a high elevation that it's actually um, easier to breathe here but we're actually not starting in the place that I wanted to start so or are we I don't know wait a minute hold on a whole other area interesting I don't know whatever so it was actually kind of funny I should have recorded my uber driver I got in the car and she seemed very mean and not very nice and she I, I I asked her if she could move the seat up and she reacted very poorly she said give me a minute like very harshly um, so I um, at first I was kind of upset but then I thought to myself this is so crazy I thought maybe I was like oh, who knows what this girl's story is maybe she's having a bad day and I thought maybe it was her first time and just randomly I was like trying to think in my head before you know you write a bad reviewer or anything like that's maybe that person's living oh bananas and I thought about that and she wasn't talking five minutes into the drive she um, she says to me uh, uh, my English is not very good um, you know this is my first time and we were on a crazy road and she was I could tell freaking out a little bit this road is nothing we were on a road I should have recorded it wow look at these mountains that was nutty we were on this road that a car drove off it while we were on it we had to turn around that's how crazy the road was so I felt kind of bad and then when she revealed it was her first time she told me that I was her first customer ever on uber Wow. substantially cooler up here it's crazy it looks cloudy out but it was 
sunny at the bottom. That's how high up we're in the clouds. So anyway, I uh, even though again I'm freaking, my credit cards are pretty, pretty maxed out. I'm not doing great financially, to be honest with you. Um, but I, uh, I trying to find some money to give her. I wanted to give her a tip, and I found a ten dollar bill and. I don't know, it's a big tip, and who knows how much that is in money here. Um, but I was like, you know what, it's a sign. So I gave her the 10. I can't remember. This is where I went. that I was playing. Mountains. What else? Ah, this is interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to turn around. I don't think this is going anywhere. Yeah. It's like little orange trees over there. So guys, I guess this is a nature video. I guess you could swim over here somewhere. This bridge does not sound safe. Interesting. So you could follow this road all the way to another part of the country. I don't know where it was that I thought I was going. And this bridge. Wow, does that look like a picture? Marie, this is where that guy was swimming? What's gonna happen? What are we gonna find? What adventures will we go on? I don't know. All I know is, unless you're into nature, there's not a lot going on here. Except those beautiful flowers. Yeah. So, she's off for Holy Week. There. Wow. There's some serious water movement here pretty interesting like you could almost find the water here like when I've been since I've been here like you'll see dry nothing and then you'll find nice water um, 
And when you find, like, I mean, what I was going to say was, you see dry land, everything looks dried up and old, like brown. And then um, what happens is you see um, green. Like, then the greener it gets, the more green it gets. I start noticing, like, hey, it's getting really green here. What does that mean? And that usually means there's water nearby. I mean, that might be, like, common sense to most people. But um, just... A note, if you're ever lost in the wilderness, something good to know. If you're ever lost in the wilderness, it's getting dark already. That guy picked up his hot date. Wow, these plants, huge. Everything's bigger in the jungle. Pretty dog. So yeah, you know, like I was saying, on these uncertain times in our world, you know, am I just traveling around for no reason? Or, or is it all very important? You know, whoa, look at that crazy chicken bird. That's oh, a baby chicken. Buck, buck, buck. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's chickens in this tree. Start. Wow. It's okay, guys. Chicken tree. Now, what are all these chickens doing in here? It's okay, guys. What the hell? Crazy chickens. <laughs> buck, buck, buck. That guy, that guy thought it was funny. Interesting. I wonder what's that in there. Ah, oh, there's horses in the stream down there. Wow, horses getting a drink. Wow. Wow. Horses. Horses are chilling by the water. See what Grace is up to, guys. Buenas noches. I will meet Nicole later because she will be here in the city. That's and great. Then, yeah, and then we will go together to her place. Because she said there's a nearby nice place there where we could hang out and do activity. Oh, that's great. Let me check the one. <clears throat> you know what? It's probably better. You know, you work, you get so tired at work. It's probably better. Just stay local, enjoy yourself. It's way better than dealing with all of that. You have a relaxing vacation. A lot of people in South Bus and North Bus. North. Hundred K. Wow. Hundred K. Buenas noches. Wow. Buenas noches. What? Yeah. Look, this is like the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah, the, I found this when I was jogging today. I love it up here. And uh, the, um, the Uber driver, she was like, 
I was like, oh, you come up here a lot? She's like, I don't want, she's like, I have never been up here before. I lived here my, she's like, I've been here my whole life. I've never been up here. Yeah, this is what I like. It's like, I might be traveling a lot to different locations, but I, um, I, I keep trying to find the same thing. Like I, I, I think even more than the beach, I love like the mountains and the jungle. That's like my favorite. Like and the people that live there, like little villages in the mountains and the jungle. You know? Yeah. That's why it's nice if you live between between the two that you like. Yeah. Easy to access in the mountain and easy to access in the beach. Yep. Would be nice. That's exactly what's like in El Salvador that place. Yeah. But it's not as green. Like this is pretty green here. But uh, I'm really glad you have that plan, baby. I hope you have a good day. Thank you. I'm just waiting for Nicole's message. I don't know what time she will be in the city, but maybe I'll go to Ike Park. Yeah, well, you know, I just want to go out. I can't stay. Yeah, here. just go down the IT park and wait for her. That's a good idea and just see what's going on. Maybe stop at the mall or something. Yeah. Just stay in the coffee shop. The same coffee shop I went. Yeah, you should totally do that. Get out of that dark, dark apartment. Yeah. <laughs> it's really bad here, but outside it's, it's, it seems like it's a good weather, I think. And I yeah. Video. I'll try. Not a lot going on here. Well, there's all these. This is like more like a nature video, I guess. There's all these chickens up here. Yeah. But it looks like it's safe and it looks really nice there. Yeah. It's very. Look at all these chickens. It's like you. Hi. Chicken. And. Buck, buck, buck. Alright, baby, my arms. My arm's getting tired. Okay, Daddy, thank you for the call. I'll update you later. Okay, have fun. Thank you. Alright, bye bye. I love you. <laughs> yep, so that was a phone call. Just goes to show you again been in Costa Rica for almost a month haven't had anybody that was nice to me found been here for one day and what happens people are nice to me well per saying nice things to me saying hello blah 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 it's just way better but there's that saying right Don't make the place you escape from, don't make it like the place you went to. No. Oh, yeah, that's where you gotta go up there. But tomorrow I can do that. That's, that's like a little village up there. I kinda wanna go to the poor area. Yeah. Up there, I'll just go by there tomorrow. I definitely found my new jogging route. Cactus. That's a nice little house. Ah, look at that house. Railings made of wood. Cool house with railings made of wood. Wow. 
and it's got a big lion face. Very cool. It almost feels like a different time of day up here. Wow, there's all these ducks and chickens. Goose. That's noches. Wow.